And who will be crowned king or queen of this city? That is the question we're hoping to answer this morning. A four-way race for Auckland mayoralty. If the poll out this morning is anything to go by, the Ratepayers Alliance Courier poll has Ephesal Collins and Leo Malloy, each on 21.7%. Take a look at this graphic that shows you the numbers. Viv Beck, one of the other candidates here this morning with us, on 20.5%. Wayne Brown on 20.1%. And trailing behind Craig Lord on 16%. Now, we invited all four candidates, albeit very early this morning, to come on the programme. And two have made it in. Joining me for more is candidates Leo Malloy and Viv Beck. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ryan. Now, I do want to say quickly about this poll, that it was 500 Aucklanders polled and that four of the candidates, the lesser known candidates, were excluded from it. Um, but it looks like it's a bit of a neck and neck race here, Viv. It does. So what do you make of that? Do you think you're in with a fighting shot? Well, I've only just finished work to start campaigning, so yes, I do. So you're saying, actually, you've done bugger all yet, you've barely dipped your toe on the water, and uh, there's a long way for you to go yet. Yeah, there's four months to go to election. Leo, what are you reading into this? Well, we're obviously thrilled to be in the number one position, but we thought we might be more dominant, but it's good to have Viv in the race and out of the... Uh the heart of the city office that she's been using for her media exposure. Oh, rather come candid, on, say, come on. It's only a game, Viv. You can play the game. Um, but I think Viv's going to make an excellent councillor. I'm looking forward to her announcing today that she's stepping down and leaving me to deal with the FESO. I well, can tell you, though, Ryan, this is the, the problem. breaking news. This, well, yeah, what? what? The breaking news, this is devastating for Labour. Labour thought this was a cakewalk, and yeah. the media have been perpetuating this myth that the right is fractured. The right is not fractured. Any one of the three of us could easily dominate from here. It's highly likely to be me. But any one of the you three. You wanted to stand for Labour. Come on! <laughs> I remember you. Wanted be, to, you wanted to get the candidate instead I of this. So make up like your mind, Leo. You can be things. decisive as a mayor, Leo. Here's the thing. the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. Right? If That's one of you, if you both cared about the right, one of you would let the other one win because you would on these numbers, right? Well, It'd I'm be a walk in the. I'm the only one that's actually said I'm centre right. Well, what are you, Leo? I traverse the spectrum. We had this conversation here last time. That's the beauty about Leo. I appeal to all of Auckland. And I've got to say, yeah, when no, Viv you, you stands appeal... for Eden Albert and wins, she'll make an excellent candidate for Hang deputy. on, hang on. So you appeal to all of Auckland, but what, where do you sit politically? Who do you vote for? Well, I'm fiscally responsible but socially liberal, so I represent everybody. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound like a decisive mayor to me, Leo. It's a bob each way, man. <laughs> Listen, bob you've been playing political tinder for how the last six months and no one's swiping right. Bob each way, come on. Here's the problem, decisive. though. The other big problem is the Labour Party machine. It's pretty ferocious when it comes to local elections. Um, up and down the country, they are organised, they get out, they get people out to vote. Viv, what are you going to do to try and counter that? Because no one on the right has been endorsed by the National Party, right? So there is no machine to back it up. I hope they're watching this morning. Do you want them to endorse you? Well, I think actually I think in this case it would help to have an endorsement. Center, uh, citizens and ratepayers is effectively the, the local body arm, and they have um, certainly been supporting me. It's up to them how and when they declare that, but I think it is helpful for voters to know that. So yes. your, mess your message to Chris Luxon and the, the National Party president this morning is, can you please endorse me? It will help me win. Well, I think it would help voters to know, yes. I think so, it does so matter to some people. This is called playing political tinder. Viv's been playing for three months. No one's swiping right. They're all swiping right on me. They all want me. Who? And I, all the National the Party? Nets, the CNR, the whole lot want me. OK, and they I'm haven't said... No, I don't want to be pigeonholed by you. I want to appeal oh, to all on, of you. Come on, you were out courting them recently. Are you, don't, hang on, don't hang on. So, so Leo, are you saying that the National Party has offered to endorse you publicly as the preferred well, it candidate? It come from Chris Luxon. But there's, a, there's clearly a lot well, of momentum did, behind me. Who did it come from? Uh, look, I've turned up wearing blue. What is that telling you? That's Leo, a loud, clear message. That, oh, gosh. It tells me that you, you know, you picked the first a jacket in your wardrobe. A but you're saying, seriously, you're saying that people within the National Party have offered to endorse you publicly. Everybody is talking to me. Everybody's decided that I'm the one. Viv has an opportunity at central government. She knows that. And she'll be uh, message, uh, messaged, massaged into that position. Get my words right. The thing I is, will carry on and become mayor of Auckland. That's the thing, we've spoken to you, both of you before, and both of you agree that Auckland Transport needs to basically have the guts ripped out of it and... Everywhere I go across Auckland, people are saying that. Yeah. It's unbelievable. So do you think that's... I mean, no, I guess the message for Aucklanders watching this this morning is no matter who wins, well, bar Fesso, I suppose, who hasn't been so um, definitive, 
Auckland Transport's in for a massive shake-up. I think that's right. And the point I'm making is to actually get that change, you need to work in a particular way to get the change Aucklanders want. And that's the point I'm making about my style of leadership. A lot of emails coming in in the last 10 minutes saying how much people hate Auckland, you know, the whole Jaffa thing, um, why don't you guys just shut up? Um, I think it's because the Blues are playing the Crusaders. Do you know what I mean? So what is your message to the rest of New Zealand this morning about Aucklanders and about, you know, their perception in the country? Viv? Am I going to get a turn at talking at any stage? Leo, off you go. I'd not like you to be the, hold, hold This back. is the problem. This is the problem people have with Aucklanders. The message... <laughs> <laughs> they don't hear enough of me. <laughs> the message to the rest of the country is this. We are tired of indifferent politics. We're tired of party aligned politics where there's no wriggle room to do what you want to do, which is best for your city in this case. We are tired of the Labour shenanigans. We're tired of the idealism. We want some practicality and we want some activation. The key to this city is we want to get it moving again. It's no longer the dumping ground of central government. We want it activated and we want to make it, take it back to the glory days when it occupied the number one position on the Pacific Rim. That's the key message. And Labour will not be sleeping well and Labour will not be eating well after that poll. They have been absolutely hammered. No show of Fesso, five times now no show of Fesso. Can you count? One hand of Fesso, five times he's no showed against me. He has to front up and he has to say something and he has to do it soon. He can't keep running and hiding. And what I'd say is we've got a beautiful city. People across the region say the things they love, but there are things that absolutely have to be changed and it has to change now. We cannot carry on in transport, the lack of accountability from council, crime. Those things absolutely have to be addressed with urgency. Well, thank you both so much for coming in this morning. Great to see you. And best of luck for the rest of the race. It's going to be a good one.